what is going on guys it is your boy Sasso here bringing us a video today bringing guys a photoshop tutorial creation on very own cool showcase banner design now this i think this should be the first video that we do in our new space which i think is you know pretty freaking cool um most likely in the background here i'll do some really cool sort of like artsy kind of stuff so the scenery isn't so kind of boring and whatnot and just like like just white um whatever though we'll figure that out during the the process and also the audio itself as well it might be a little more echoey than usual but I hope that we just can just adjust to it. Otherwise, we'll get one of those cool like um, like that you put on the wall. We'll figure that. We'll figure that all out. All right, guys. So today's video is actually inspired by Dominic, by the way. Dominic B. He's the homie of mine. Uh, we were tweeting like I think it was like two weeks ago now. Um, on the sense of like uh, I should do a video just like as a joke. I was like, oh, dude, don't be freaking hilarious if I did a video. Um, so people know where like this style comes from and whatnot. And then he just literally DM me like no two minutes after he was like, bro, it would actually be super elite if you did a video. Um, I love you blah blah blah. He was just a freaking just a nice guy. So why the heck not? I'm gonna do a video on it and I think it's a really cool style anyway And regardless, it's a really cool way because also I haven't done a showcase video in a very long time Um, where you gotta like of course you guys make banner designs that help showcase your work So hence the word showcase. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today Um, the the style itself and nothing out of the ordinary I would say that you guys normally don't see ever It's just more or less the way you kind of like foundation the uh, typography and whatnot and uh, just like the cool little and uh, like aesthetic little background um yeah so let's just get this thing going let's just uh start this thing up please all right guys let's go ahead and get started right here right now and no i did not purposely started doing my freaking thing and then saying the like i'm mad like i was just like all right guys let's start doing it. nope all right, guys. No, I swear. I swear. Okay. Um. Okay. So let's go into this thing. First off, I guess we're gonna work off. Uh, work off of the typography. Now, the font that I'm using in today's video happens to be the Gotham font. Um. I don't know if there's a free version. If there is, I'll link it down below. If there's not, I believe the entire font family. Uh, font family. I know I purchasedly purchased it for five dollars for like seven or eight different weights with everything and all that cool stuff so i mean if you guys want to do that too uh if i find a link i'll find it but i think there might be a free version or you guys might know of something that has maybe like franklin gothic can work as well um just something that has of course a weight that is very very skinny and also very um like you know a little more bolder right so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and set up this typography now i want to actually take a duplicate of this and just have this set as a image so that we don't have to keep going back just something like that to kind of have all right, so I'm gonna exit this, and I'll make the actual background color just for now a little bit darker, so it's not just white. And here we go. So typography, Sesso HQ is the first thing I put in. So of course I'm using all capital letters. All for some reason I love using header uh, heading as capital letters. So I'm gonna go over here, and I believe the font was Gotham Bold. Now this one right here, I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit more. If we need to fix it, we will. Um, so I put Sesso HQ, then I put designer. If you maybe have like a two-part kind of name. Um, or maybe you're in a team of some sort, you could put like, if I wanted to, I could put 100 Thieves Sesso or 100 T Sesso and have the Sesso HQ part or the Sesso part on the right hand side be that cool sort of like stroke-esque, um, style to it. So it says, I put designer, right? Sesso HQ designer, right? And I'll just take this, move this over here. I believe that was the word, right? Yeah, designer. Okay. So, of course, do that really cool, simple stroke, um, theme to your actual text is very simple all you have to do is take your fill lower it down to zero you want to then click double click on the actual word and then you want to go to your stroke change your position to inner um or center honestly center is not bad either and then three or two stroke is pretty much what you would basically want now i do have my fill type on gradient uh, it's just a very simple white to kind of like offset grayish gradient like a bluish gradient um there's no real reason for it. I mean, if you wanted to put color, this is where you can put color as like a gradient in your actual stroke. Like, let's say like this one over here looks good, I know. Um, right, if you guys wanna do that. Otherwise, you can just simply just go ahead and use a uh, fill type. If you guys want to gradient, by the way, it's under fill type and gradient. Otherwise, color, making it white is perfectly fine as well, which I'll just do for the sake of the video here today. Um, no reason to get overcomplicated, but just to show you guys that there are other options, um, that's where they lie. So, pretty much the next part here is, I should probably get my logo from the thingamajigger, this thing. So, I think one of these are my logo, one of these are Hunter T logo. I'm going to just drag this in really quick, just so we have these as well, because we're going to need those. So... Also, kind of gives me the position, which is pretty cool. So I just dragged in my logo, which is on the top middle. Uh, basically, just put in the top middle of the section of your your typography or your, your I guess your header text. And I'm gonna go ahead, and then I'm gonna also write in over here, just like so. We're gonna put we're shrinking down right now for now, All right? I'll put graphic designer for 100 thieves or something like that, right? So I'm gonna put designer for 100 thieves. 
Then we can go ahead, shrink this down a little bit more. And then we'll kind of just put this right here and have the logo on the other side. So to keep in mind with the cool little style that uh, Dom, uh, Dom does, I guess I can call him Dom, right? You want to care, right, Dominic? Um, he has this really sort of nice spacing. So what I'm looking to do is making sure that the next line that I ever do text of is has this bit of that space into it here. So the next one should be right below this line here. So I'm going to go ahead and do, and for this other part, I just kind of put, uh, you know, my, my beautiful quote, keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive. So I'm going to go ahead and put keep smiling, okay? Keep, oh geez, oh, keep, stay positive, okay. We got it. Stay positive <laughs> and stay freaking productive. I'm not going to put freaking in there because why not? And I'm also going to put these two nice little um, quotation marks in there. And then with those quotations, I'm also going to then write, uh, actually, I'll put it in the same actual text here. This is all t uh, text stuff. By the way. So I'm not really explaining it. So it's www.sshq.com. If you guys have a website, you can put your website link in here. Um, he also puts like some really cool, nice quotes. If you guys have your own little quotes, I'm going to then go ahead Take this, shrink this down. I'm gonna make this the actual different weight. Something like this, I think is pretty cool. I'm gonna make this actual four. And I'm gonna take this and give that space that I was talking about before, which I'll put right here. And I'm also gonna move this a little bit more this way and move this a little bit more this way and have this all lined up on the right hand side. Now you can start seeing why the typography looks really, really cool. It's almost like you're starting in, um, like you're looking at a website header and it's kind of like, I don't know, kind of giving you guys like a bit of a, uh, uh oh, a kind of a bit of a um, description as well. It gives you a lot of space, almost like a bio in your header. Obviously, it's kind of like the same thing, but it's just the way you guys kind of put it together, right? So I think that looks pretty good, pretty close to what it is before. I guess the last thing I have is, of course, I have to self plug my 100 series. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use an arrow from this 100 series 100K pack. If you guys haven't downloaded it yet, be sure to download it. And I'm going to go ahead and just put this nice little simple little asset right below here. And then we can go ahead and sort of figure out a um, color method. So what I ended up doing is like, um, for him, he likes to use these cool little uh, square boxes. And I just decided like, why the heck not gonna use a little bit of something different, but also give that little homage to the to the styles. I'm gonna use like different colors. Like I'll use like an orange. Oh, I got a yawn. Orange, we'll do like a green. Now, the way I'm choosing these colors is completely random. If you guys want to choose, choose like complementary colors, of course you can do so, or choose colors in your header maybe, or choose colors that were in the designs of the, the stuff that you put in your actual showcase. You can just have fun with this. I'm gonna just kind of do random colors for now and then see what happens if it looks absolute crap then whatever, but I just like the whole little rainbow feel of it. It adds a little bit more of aesthetic, and as you can see, so far, so good. It looks pretty dope, and that alone on the left-hand side, it's just a really cool, clean concept, so I personally like it, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is a little more close to the middle. Um. Okay, now this, a little, this might be a little bit too far. I'm gonna move these a little bit closer to each other. Something like that, I think it looks a little bit better, nice. So, as long as you guys have gotten this part in the entire tutorial and whatnot, you guys are looking hella clean, and the next part is absolutely easy, and there's no way you can mess this one up, okay? Promise. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and end up doing is I'm gonna use this nice little sort of rectangle tool. So, with this rectangle tool, I'm gonna end up just basically kind of just taking this and going right over everything, okay? Whatever kind of space you want on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, just go over the entire thing. So, the rec uh, rectangle tool, you wanna make sure you turn off your properties tables will show up, by the way. If your properties table is not up, you can basically just go up to the top left over here. It's also right there. Um, also, if you want to go to Windows um, Properties, you guys can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take the stroke, turn this off, and turn the fill on. I'm just going to make it nice, a nice little gray for you guys, okay? So for this part here, it's very, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and simply go ahead and I'm going to take number one here. I'm going to take my first image, throw it into this rectangle, right-click that one image, and press clipping mask, right? Create a clip mask. What that'll do is, of course, make sure that this layer, uh, this layer of the photo itself, right, is only on top of the layer that we just put down, which is that rectangle. So what you wanna end up doing now, again, is holding Alt on your keyboard, um, or you can press Control J, right, and then take the bottom rectangle and, and bring it up. But what I like to do is hold Alt on my keyboard, and then just take this layer and drag it above number one, which is that first picture, just like so, and then let go. And I can just move this over like this, and then we'll go ahead and take our second picture and throw it into this rectangle. And you guys probably make a, a completely super educated guess to what happens next. Um, we just do the same exact thing over again, but just bring it over the number two. Take the number three image, bring it above it, 
right click clip and mask and then we're good it's, I gotta also move it though let me just move this down to like around here um I'll say that space is pretty good I'll say I'll give number one a little bit more space I'm gonna take this number one rectangle move it out a little bit more take number two move it in a little bit more take my image in number two move it in a little bit more and then kind of just like say if that gives enough space if you guys want to put off obviously more you want to make your rectangles a little more smaller and if you guys really want to you don't have to make your rectangle so big you can also take your rectangle right and then shrink it down to the size that you guys want and then you guys just you know, give a little more space if you guys want to put space in them and then you just could mask them in between here right so there's nothing too complicated about that it's just very like i said this is a very very simple thing to do so next and not well not least i guess english hard sometimes okay so i'm gonna take this stuff this is actually typography so i'm gonna put this down here i'm gonna group this together and make sure that this is known as this is the uh, typography part of it okay and then i'm gonna take the rectangles here so once you guys are basically done you guys can go ahead and group this together um with Control g on your keyboard and then you can end up doing is compress Control t on your keyboard on the actual group that'll go ahead and free transform everything that's inside that group and you want to go ahead and right click and then skew it if you take the middle sort of like a uh, little uh, square here you're just gonna take this move it a little bit towards the right you can give yourself a nice little skew now if you don't want to have a skew you don't have to but i like to put a very very simple little skew in there it kind of just gives it a nice little aesthetic in my opinion um if you guys don't want to like i said before you guys do not have to but it just get I, I thought it looked pretty good honestly i'm gonna oops move this over i just drooped this together so i didn't have to do that and won't forget and I forgot. So I'm gonna shrink this down just a little bit more my talk on my typography. And then I realized that I also did one other thing. So I took another rectangle. I'm gonna just drag this right below. So this rectangle right here, I'm gonna go ahead and drag any photo in. I'm just gonna use number one again. Okay. So what you end up doing is you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'll show you guys in the background in a second too as well. I just want to leave it to last because you kind of want to have this done first. Um, Gaussian blur. And with this Gaussian blur here, you're just gonna kind of Gaussian blur it. All the way until you see a nice sort of like you can't tell what the image is but it gives a nice little blur to it um and then you want to go ahead okay control u on your keyboard it brings up the hue and saturation you want to go ahead and take your sa uh, saturation just lower it all the way down if you want to take your lightness lower it down a little bit too you kind of get this nice little sort of like nice little gray image that kind of separates the two now this is also another thing if you guys don't want to do this you guys do not have to do this so i just like it how it looks personally for me um but the last part, which is the actual background portion of it, if you guys want to go ahead and take this sort of group here, right, that we just have, you want to go ahead and control J on your keyboard, which makes a duplicate of that sort of group, right? It'll load for a second, getting all those images in there again. And then once it finishes loading, you can press control E on your keyboard. This merges it all together in one single layer. So I'm going to take this layer, I'm going to rename it to background so you know exactly what we're doing. Drag it below everything, okay? right just like so and i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the vicinity of where it should be right which it should be on the left hand side by the way we're gonna go to filter blur gaussian blur once again not box blur filter blur gaussian blur and i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna gaussian blur it so much until you get this really sort of cool like mesh of colors that you really can't tell what the image is whatsoever but you can start seeing these really cool little splashes of a uh, color okay I would say right about here, 150, 140, around that zone, about 140, okay? Looks pretty good. This is exactly how, kind of how I want it. I'm gonna press okay. Then I can press control U on my keyboard, take the lightness and start bringing it down just a bit, right? And you'll still see those nice little colors, right? You can still see these really nice little gradient meshes here, which gives the actual aesthetic of the background to have this really dope, sort of like flush kind of like smooth atmosphere to it and i think i just I th it's just really freaking cool in my opinion i think it's a very very awesome <clears throat> excuse me awesome background for a nice little simplistic style like so um and then once you kind of center this the way we kind of want of course you can exchange these things but very very easily let's say if you want a different image maybe you want like pretend this is a different image right you want to have this uh new project that you just had also it's kind of easy to switch out too right if you have a new project you say hey i want to update my header you simply just click on the actual image of number two if you guys want to have the movement tool right if you guys have the, you guys have the movement tool excuse me but if you guys didn't know if you hold control on your keyboard and select anything on the actual canvas you guys can move anything as quick as possible so if you want to click the text hold control you want to click that text hold control um if you guys don't have that enabled, make sure you guys go to where it says here, 
um, it's default on group. So if you guys have never done that before, it's probably because you had a default on group, but it can default it to layer so that when you hold uh, control, you'll see this little box right here gets checked that says auto select. That's how I kind of really quickly switch through and click um, different uh, things without going through my actual layers. So hold control, select your number two. If you guys want to change the number two one, right? It'll make sure it puts your, it'll, it'll put your selection above number two. You take your new image, you drag it. Once you drag it in, all you have to do is right click, clip mask, and then you guys have yourselves a nice new project inside your showcase and this is really cool to exchange and all that cool stuff um but uh yeah that's basically it if you guys want to export of course uh of course control alt shift s um always when you guys are doing uh exporting for uh twitter and i might do an entire video on this for like social media and stuff like that you guys want to make sure you take your percentage make it 50 percent then you want to change it to png 8 i know you're like why trust me png 8 uh, colors 256 and then when you guys save it you guys want to then uh, upload it through mobile so you guys want to go ahead and just type in like m.twitter.com slash this way or something like that right and then you want to upload it through mobile and then you can go ahead and go back to your desktop version and you'll see that'll be super crisp for you guys to have and enjoy and all that good stuff so with that being said it's your boys end of the video and i appreciate you guys for so very much for uh tuning in all that good stuff thank you very much for dom for letting me have a have a shot at your your little cool typography style i think it's really really cool i think it's gonna float very well with you guys and hope you guys enjoy it um all that good stuff and i feel like i might be uploading a little bit more soon tm okay just 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 putting it out there. see if, if you see a random video it's planned i promise um but yeah i'll talk to you guys later seso hq out don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys Later, much love, and I appreciate every last one of you guys. Peace.